Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about the potentization and intestinal dose by Dr. Stuart Close. It is a philosophy of organon, of medicine. Okay, what is potentization in actual terms that we search in the dictionary? It means the capability to act or change. Yeah, sounds easy. But what the actual definition of potentization is given by Stuart Close is a process of rendering the potent or powerful that which was important. It means that from a crude substance we are arousing the inert substance so that we are increasing its power from important. For example, we are making silicia from sand like that. Now, coming to the actual definition of uh, homeopathic potentization is, it is a mathematical mechanical process for the reduction according to the scale of crude, inert or poisonous medicinal substance to a state of physical solubility, physiological assembly and therapeutic activity and it is harmless for use as a homeopathy healing remedies. So, it means it was a ca quite uh, heavy stuff to understand. So, in order to easily understand, I am going to break this definition into parts. So, in this video, I am just going to tell you the def definition in parts so that you can understand what is the actual process of potent digestion. In later video, I will tell you what are the comments have been passed by the steward close on this potent digestion. So, coming to its definition, statement number one, mathematical mechanical process to, for the reduction. According to uh, Stuart Close, he mentions uh, Annie's uh, equation and he states that a state of approximately perfect solution or a complete ionization which is fully accomplished only by the infinite dilution. Uh, it means that dilution is directly proportional to the ionization. Means how much ever you are doing uh, dilution, that uh, is equal to that much power of ionization has been going on. Actually, we are doing a serial dilution. Serial dilution means taking a one part like what we are doing, adding one drop of uh, crude substance and 9 ml of uh, vehicle and Again, next you are going to take from that solution which has been mixed earlier, uh, one part of it and again mixing with 9 ml of vehicle. Like that you are going to do in a successive manner. That is called serial dilution. It has been used outside of our department as microbiology in order to study um, the microorganism in a small amount, in a small circle in a specified way. So that as uh, they believe that by doing this process, you can reduce the microorganisms. So you can focus on very few microorganisms. It will be easier for this trade. So apart from that, coming to our system, it has been done in a very different way. Yeah, we are undergoing serial dilution only, but in a different process by trituration and succussion. So on trituration and succussion, what we are doing is, we are crushing the particles. So by crushing the particles, what happens means these particles gets collide with each other. This colliding process is called as collision process. We are, this will be, we had studied in our chemistry in 11th and 12th. So on process of collision, it uh, helps in reaction. So when it gets react means when it obtains a very minimum amount of energy in order to have a reaction. Unless until it gets a minimum energy it is not going to react. Similar way here due to the collision process after it gets react it is liberating so much of energy. So this energy is termed as ionization. Uh, according to its equation what you see is a, it denotes the frequency of the collision happens. E power minus something that it is minus Ea bar Rt. It means uh, Ea is the activation energy. So he mentions that how much ever the minimum is the activation energy, that much you can have a rate of reaction. And you will get a much more product and much more energy will be rele released. 
he said so according to it and k denotes the gas constant whatever you want to get an order like that order of reaction for that so r is uh, rate of reaction t is your temperature so uh, apart from this equation i just want to say in order why i'm saying this equation you have to understand this graph that when the reactants that what we are crushing it has been colliding and it has been fighting with each other and it is jumping over and over and it is reaching to the hill with when it reaches the hill means when it attains the minimum activational energy so on attaining it it reaches to the hill once it attains that hill portion then it no need of energy it just rolls down like that we will be having more amount of energy will be released so that is the actual concept of hennier's equation in relation with the dilution so coming to the next uh, statement a state of crude uh, from which we are arousing the inert property how it is possible so by knowing this process which i have said before the stewart cross says by knowing this process the gat will wilkinson has proposed to call them as transmissions why he called it as because series of differentiation differentiation means you having a large amount of value um, and you are converting it to a very small value that is called differentiation so a large amount of uh, crude material you are breaking up into an infinite loop so that is a series of differentiation and progression you are processing it by which a successive reproduction or propagation so on this process you are multiplying the particles which has been colliding so it has been multiplied and it is getting processed of medicinal properties of the drug takes place so he term it as a transmission process so coming to the next statement to state of a physiological assimilability and therapeutic activity how it is possible uh, whether uh, after making like this or potentization through potentization we are making a drug whether it has been uh, absorbed by our body physiologically let's see Dr uh, Stuart Lewis says that the necessity for rendering such substance soluble capable of being taken up by the observant and appropriated by the sentient nerves of living organism it means that he says it is we are rendering because rendering means we are uh, improving its uh, properties like by arousing its inert properties which is it is infinite also so it is very soluble and capable to be taken up by the observant which is have, have to be absorbed and uh, main word is appropriated by the sentient nerves it means that particular nerves takes it up it means that uh, for example in a practical usage you are you are staring a drug from head to foot right you are getting so many symptoms but when you are giving to a patient uh, he is having an affection of one particular part then you are giving this medicine it is acting only on that particular part it is not acting on uh, on other parts of your body why it is so because it has been appropriated by the sentient nerves of by the living organism means particular nerves have been absorbed by that only the impaired nerves are taking it up so that is the special feature of our potentization that you have to know it that has been said by dr stuart close and the second thing is how it is harmless actually it is a simple substance of a drug has been used and vehicle is of sugar of milk uh, alcohol and water and process is done entirely under control and so simple that the child can compel with them so even a child can do this work and you can have a company of the child and you can do it also there is no harm in that and it is very controlled proce- process also so that's it uh, this is a whole meaning of this definition what i want to say and i think i have all and also marked all these uh, lines this is a this an stuart close philosophy book if you have any queries of uh, about it you can comment in the chat box and uh, 
get your queries cleared and if you want me to explain in further way i will be explaining like that that too please comment in the chat box so that i will be knowing if you want another topics to be explained i will explain it do comment in the chat box so if you like this video do comment like share and subscribe and thank you uh, this is the first part of the pronunciation and infinite dose of uh, stuart close the second part i will be posting in the next video so till then thank you